to, to, to do more jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> uh, well, hey, listen, I've listened to some of your other tracks, and you do, you you can go in different directions. I mean, you did one that's, uh, it, it's really almost straight pop, although, you know, there's some, there's some, uh, some soul influence, some rhythm blues influence in it, but uh, you've got tracks that kind of, uh, kind of go in different directions, so your versatility is there, your ability to follow these other areas uh, it seems to be there and that's a good thing before you go i want to be sure and tell you that you know one thing here you're now part of our family once you're on the show you are forever a part of our family and we're always here for you so if there's Thank anything you. you know you want to pass on to friends to family to uh, especially your fans also anytime you release new music we'll be happy to help share it with you i have a page on facebook wow, you, you can get with uh, just go to facebook the david David Bowers Awards, and that is up there for you to post your information on. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to try to email me and say, "Hey, Dave, would you please do <laughs> put it on that page?" And we will see that it's not only posted there, but it gets to our, our other social media pages as well. That's there for you. We are here for you. So please keep in touch. Let us know what's going on. Wow. You got something you want to break? Give us a holler, and we'll help you do it. Really appreciate Thank you, you so coming much. and spending time with us today, especially since For I sure. know I know the backstory of what you had to go through to get this put together. So thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, last quick before we go, I'm about thirty seconds, tell the people how they can find you. Okay, you can find me on all social media outlets under Sean Dene. It's spelled S H O N D E N A Y. Sounds like Chardonnay, but it's not. But I promise you, I'm still <laughs> sweet and bubbly and a mate. And, like, I'm just here to have a great time, and I hope you have a good time, too. I hope you, to find you in the Shonda neighborhood. <laughs> you are so right there. You are you are bubbly. You are fun. You're effervescent, and you're a great talent. Thank you for coming and uh, talking with us and sharing your story. Thank you. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean <laughs> Dene and this is called Diversion. It's amazing just how hazy you can be Drive me crazy with your shady misleading
Everything's changing, I'm saying The pain of waiting on you's misery Knowing you don't want to make a choice You only speak to make some noise Always trying to cop out with words you cannot live without I don't know me That's John Dene and Diversion right here on the David Bowers Awards. Okay, now, we've had some country, uh, some kicking country up top, and uh, and we just listened to some Native American uh, contemporary hip-hop, and so we will move on now to some Latin American pop from a young lady who is taking over the United States by storm. You're going to be hearing from her well, actually, you're going to be hearing from her in the next couple of minutes, but uh, the country, the music scene in the United States has already started feeling her impact. She goes by the name of Gabby B. This is Como Te Amas. Sorry, I'm with this homies, yeah, yeah, yeah. Had me, had me. Had like in the nose, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Way over, ask if I'm thirsty. I said un poquito to play it off. I was like time is perfect, like timing. Had me ready to get it on. Say I like the, I like the way you move, and you know, and you know just what you're doing. Yeah, baby, you got me. That's what I heard him say. Como te amas? Quiero bailar contigo. Quiero estar conmigo. Podría enamorarme esta noche. Como te amas? Gabby B, como te amas, and here she is. Gabby, hello. Are you hey. there? Hey, yes, welcome here. aboard. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? 
doing just fine, thank you, and uh, so excited about you being here today. Uh, been Thanks listening so to your music. Me. Oh, our pleasure. Believe me, we're glad that you could make it, and really glad to be able to share your music and hopefully some of your story too. This is a a really really nice track, and I know uh, I just saw the video is out on this now, and. Uh, well, yes. before we get to that, tell us a little bit about you. Now, if I'm correct, you're from Brazil, and uh, yeah. well, you tell the story, where you, where you got your start, how you got into where you are today. Well, I'm Brazilian, so I was born in Brazil, but I was raised in France, and I've lived in different places all, all my life, so I know different cultures. Um, and I, my whole life I've been always into entertainment because both of my parents were performers, so I learned a lot with them. And um, I got into, you know, singing at a young age, but, like, just for fun, you know, listening to Hannah Montana and loving all of her songs and Britney Spears. So, um, yeah, and then um, we started, like, about almost a year ago. And we've done a couple musics, you know, it's, it's been growing, so... Yep, that's well. We'd that's never guess. Now. We'd never guess your uh, your varied background uh, from listening to you talk. You could you could talk as you know the average American from the way you talk. It's uh, you, really no sign of an <laughs> accent or uh, or anything. It's it's kind of surprising. I was when you mentioned France and other places. I was thinking, okay, now you know why doesn't she have a uh, a Spanish accent or a French accent or something, but uh, you, you speak very American English. Yeah, I, I actually learned it through Disney. Um, but, like, uh, I, I had a lot of accent when I was, like, younger, but it took a lot uh-huh. of practice. And, you know, being around Americans and listening to how they talk and how they put, like, words. I, I mean, I still have – I still struggle with English, but, yeah. You it's never know not a, a easy language, but, yeah. No, I've been told that it is a very difficult language in that respect. If you if you listen really yeah. close, sometimes you can catch a little hint, but uh, by and large, nobody would really know it. So uh, don't let go of your background, cool. though. You know, and don't, don't let go of your background. You've got a, a fascinating background, and you should definitely hang on to it. It's obviously helped get you Thanks. where you are today, which is as a... Uh, as a breaking artist here in the States. Now, how many releases do you have here in the United States now? Um, I have six so far. Six. And uh, that would be uh, Como Te Amos is the six? Yes. Yes. Okay. And, and you just did the video to that. Am I correct? Yes. It was so fun. I was watching the video earlier today. And uh, for not the first time, but I, I wanted to see it again before we did the show today. And uh, I was really surprised at the, uh, well, at the approach for anyone who hasn't seen the video yet. Uh, we get, uh, we get a, uh, a listen to you doing an old American pop classic from, what, back in the 40s? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Diamonds. I love that song so much. So I, I I thought it would be a good idea to put that in and have a little it bit is, of, you know, like a, a Broadway start. Sure. It is a very, very clever, catchy idea. And I wanted to ask you how somebody came up with that idea. You execute it very well. And it does. It's the it's the perfect lead in to this song because it's, uh, you know, it, it's a young girl preparing to go out and ultimately get into the situation that she gets into in the song. So it's, uh, it's interesting in the fact that you're able to bridge, you're able to bridge age groups this way. You're, you're, you're actually touching on an, a much older age group uh, yeah. and bringing them yeah. into your music, which is really, I think really cool. John Bon Jovial. Oh, it's clever. Thank uh, you. I'm, I'm actually, no, go ahead. Go I'm ahead. actually Please. very old soul. I'm very old soul. Like I love 90s, 80s. 